Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And today I have something from Ireland. What a surprise. Again, the Whistler. The Whistler, which is blended Irish whiskey, Calvados cask finish. Ooh, triple distilled product of Ireland, limited release batch number one. So there's 3,000 bottles of this. Um, 43% whiskey base number 149384. And I paid 36 euros for this. Now, if you go to the um, Bon, Bowen, um, distillery website, <laughs> um, you will actually be able to see that the Calvados cask is on there. And there's actually a young man actually describing everything on there that is very important. Which is kind of interesting because he can share all the information you need in about 65 seconds and I need like 8 or 9 minutes. So it's 35% single malt. It is 65% grain, which is not that untypical for Irish whiskey. So 65% grain, which means column stilled, how that is triple distilled is always the question. And the malt is triple distilled. So probably from bush mills and the grain probably then from um, then Middleton, the Irish distillers. Now the Calvados casks come from the Chateau de Bourg. I didn't understand him correctly, even though I listened three times, and nowhere on the label is any mention of the name of the chateau. So I'm a little bit um, of the opinion that they did not have the right to print the name, but as you can do in a, um, a tasting, you can mention it verbally without printing it. So um, I was also told that this was a whiskey that had been matured for four years in ex-bourbon casks. Not first fill, but ex-bourbon. And then given a 15-month finish in the Calvados cask, which I think is a fairly, fairly long time. 3,000 bottles. Um, maybe this is going to be an annual release, if I understood that correctly as well. Price, as I mentioned, 36 euros, so about $45. Not bad for what you're getting here. Now, Calvados uh, Compass Box worked with an affinity... Um, West Cork now has there also the new bottles out with Cavados and also here then the um, McMurrah had a Cavados cask last year, cask finish last year as well. Question of the day, what other whiskeys do you know with Cavados finishes? Hmm. Now, that movement is very, very important here. It's a sweet apple tart, like an apple tart, sweet um, moment. And then it's beautiful. You swallow. And then the aftertaste gets a little bit of metallic type of young alcohol moment. But then it recovers and it goes back up to the alcohol. I'm sorry, back up to the apple um, malt moment. Um I call this as something like like pig in the blanket. You have this grain alcohol, which is fairly young. Maybe the malt is actually the younger part. A uh, grain actually uh, matures a little bit faster than malt in the casks in Ireland. At least they do according to my palate. So you have this malt that is basically, I don't know, four years old if you're lucky. And you need to coat it with something. You need to finish it. That blanket. And I really do have the feeling that the Cavados here is a blanket. Um, it actually, the, 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 the parts themselves are um, worse than the sum of them together. So the sum is better than the parts. And this is actually very good. This is going to get a C plus from me. Um, the value for money around a C. Um, I, I haven't had a bad Whistler yet, to be honest. I don't think. Um, I love their seven-year-old um, cast strength. That was one of my favorite bottlings I've had in the last years. Um very, very nice. I could drink that stuff um, dangerously easily. Um, very, very good stuff. And even here, the the finish, the, the, the aftertaste is just a beautiful, beautiful moment for an Irish whiskey. Unfortunately, I have to go through the, the, the Valley of Tears to get back up there. Um, if they could somehow get rid of that valley, maybe with using older juice or whatever, that would be interesting. Um, they just um, commissioned their stills here at the beginning or the end of 2019. 
I think the first casts were being filled here at the beginning of 2020. I'm going to have to give them a contact and see if I can become part of their cast program as well. All right, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American giving this actually a C plus. Value for money, more of a C to C minus, but that's still okay. Um, question of the day, what Calvados, um finishes do you know of, or maybe even a complete maturation for that matter? And thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that bell if you'd be so kind. Every once in a while, I do go on live. I'm live. I do all go online live, and it could be a surprise. And if you'd be so kind, um, since this is a very positive review of an Irish whiskey, maybe you could share it with friends or in a different um, group or maybe by Twitter or Instagram or any place else, Reddit, for all I care, um, and let other people know about this interesting distillery and this interesting bottling out there. Only one of 3,000, but annually I'll be there, and it might make its way around the world in the future. Who knows? Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Europe, better said in Germany. Bye-bye. Thank you.